Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video. Today I'm going to be talking about the festive content that should be arriving later this week actually in GTA Online. And it looks like we have a pretty stacked event in store for us this year. Once again, I would like to thank the infamous Floorball for the gameplay and some of the screenshots used in this video and a link to his Twitter will of course be down in the description. So starting off, there's going to be a snowman collectible where you will have to destroy 25 snowmen around the map and once you do that, you will be awarded with the snowman outfit. Thankfully, it's not 200 this time around like the pumpkins. That is very good news. I'm not sure if you have to get 25 in one day or if it's 25 over the course of the entire event. Judging from how the pumpkin event worked, I'm going to say 25 in one day, which isn't too bad compared to 200. Another scripted event that is going to be happening is with this NPC called the Gooch. It's basically a mugger that will randomly spawn in and take your snacks and cash. And if you kill the Gooch, you'll unlock his mask permanently. It's kind of like a parody of the Grinch, just with a rather hilarious name. I probably don't need to say this, but snow is obviously coming back, and I hope it's more than just on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I think it should at least be live for four days in-game, or maybe even a week. And with the snow, you can expect to get all the previous Festive Surprise event items that we've been getting for years now. However, there's also a lot of new Christmas clothing, mainly the festive sweater is similar to the ones that we got back in the Arena War update in the business battles, which I'm quite excited to collect because those are some of the coolest Christmas themed clothing items that we have in G10 line in my opinion. So here's what one of them looks like. This is from OpenIV, it's just the model of the sweater. Up next, you'll see squares of different color patterns and designs. These are basically just the textures that go over the stock model of the sweater. And because there are so many of them, I'm really hoping they don't put all of them in business battles, especially because some of the business battles right now are broken. In total, there are 18 of them. The Pistol Mark II seems to be getting a brand new festive livery with season's greetings written all over the weapon. And last but not least, we have the Christmas and New Year's login rewards. For Christmas, if you log in, you'll get the Candy Cane Melee Weapon, which is just a reskin police baton or crowbar. It uses those same animations as those weapons, but it's a candy cane instead with some different audio when you hit someone. It also looks to be in mint condition. <laughs> the Green Reindeer Beer Hat will also be gifted to you, as well as the Firework Launcher with full ammo, full snacks, full armor, 25 sticky bombs, 25 grenades, 5 proximity mines, and 10 molotovs. And for New Year's, if you log in, you'll get the gold, silver, and rainbow New Year's glasses, the yellow holly beer hat, and the rest is basically identical to the Christmas event login with the firework launcher, various throwable items, the armor. I'm not sure if there's going to be a free vehicle for Christmas this year. I don't think there's any evidence of one existing in the files. I'm sure I'll most likely get a vehicle on Thursday of this week, but... Probably not one for free for Christmas this year. I could be wrong, of course. Even so, it's looking like a fun event with a lot going on to mess around with. Let me know your thoughts about the festive surprise or Christmas 2022 event in GTA Online down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.